Hey guys, it's Yama and welcome to my English version of my channel. Today it's gonna be makeup tutorial for this makeup look. Basically all I wanted to do to show you guys what makeup I use for every day and as you know I work at Sephora and I need to use makeup. For every day I prefer to apply something neutral colors and of course base is base, it's foundation powders and everything but for the shadow I always use something neutral and especially from the palette Kat Von D shade light. So if you're interested in how to create this look, keep watching, let's get started. Before any makeup, I love to use Smashbox Primer Water. It kind of calms your skin, reduces the redness of your complexion. For the next step, I'm gonna use actual primer. It's Smashbox Primer Oil. I'm putting only two drops onto my skin and try to apply only the spot where you have dryness or pores. For the foundation, I'm gonna use Liquid Foundation by Too Faced Born This Way. I'm applying this with my finger first and blending this all out with my damped beauty blender. For the first time, I'm gonna use this contour cream palette. I use already a lot of times on my clients and really loved it. Starting from hairline to the skull, I'm contouring my cheeks, contouring my forehead, my jawline, contour my nose. And I'm gonna blend this all out with my beauty blender. For the concealer, I love to use Maracuya Creaseless Concealer. It's really creaseless, guys. It's really awesome. I'm putting on my ring finger pearl size of concealer. I'm melting this down and I'm gonna apply this on my under eye. That way, I feel like it goes a lot better. And I'm gonna blend this all with Beauty Blender. So now we need to set this all up. For the setting powder, I love, love Laura Mercier translucent powder, especially for baking. I'm gonna apply this under my eye, on the bridge of my nose, on my chin, and I'm gonna leave it for more than two minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna do my brows with deep brow pomade chocolate color. But I decided to cut this part because it's pretty long, but I promise I'll do specifically video how I do my brows. Now my brows is ready and with my powder brush I'm gonna blend this all out from the baking. For defining my contouring I'm gonna use this contour color Fawn by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Using number 79 contour brush from Sephora collection, I'm contouring again my nose, my cheeks, forehead. For the highlighter, I'm using So Hollywood by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm spraying my fan brush with setting spray, that way it's gonna be more pop color. For the blush, I'm using this bronzer color from YSL. Actually, I'm not supposed to do, but it's really orange and I like to use this like a blush. Time for eye makeup. From the palette Kat Von D Shade Light, I will use this light color latest with my blending brush all over the lid. Next, I will apply this Summer Ale color, I call this just a sculpting color, applying this from the outer corner to the crease and nicely blending. Before I will do the next step from eyeshadow, I want to apply this eyeliner from NARS to the lower lash line. I don't know, it's kind of easier for me to draw the next step. <laughs> next, I'm getting this really nice burgundy chocolatey reddish color, I can call it. I'm applying this to outer corner and really nicely blending to the middle. Next, I'm getting this black color, name is Shax. And here, I'm trying to apply this like liner, so it's gonna be very smoked liner. I'm trying to carefully apply this smoky liner, not to make it super black, not smoky eyes, just a little liner. From Anastasia Beverly Hills Couture Palette, I'm using this chic color, and I'm putting this to inner corner of my eye. For the mascara, I'm using Marc Jacobs Velvet Black Mascara. For the liquid eyeliner, I'm using Stila Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner.
I'm very sorry guys, my battery was dead, but I made already my false lashes. My false lashes is from Sephora Collection, Mink Lashes. And for the lip color, I used Color Kill Playmate color, beautiful color. Alright guys, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, don't forget to thumbs up. And if you like to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And of course, just comment it. I love comments, okay? See you on my next video. Bye!